Do you regret putting out that tweet? Absolutely not. The first thing to say, my heart goes out to the family of Sarah. To have this loss in your family in this way, I just can't well, imagine what they're Mr. Mr. Bailey, Mr. Bailey, we don't know that it's a loss. This is what you don't seem to understand. Unless you have information that we don't, although those human remains have been found in Kent, they have not been positively identified. You should know that as someone who wants to be the Mayor of London. You're speaking out if, of turn, Mr. Bailey. If someone in your family is missing... It's a loss. Yeah, hopefully you'll find that person. But if they're missing, it's a loss. Let's be clear. You're talking to a man who's been a youth worker for over 20 years. I've dealt with missing people many, many times. It feels like a loss in a family. That's the first thing. And I don't regret putting out the tweet because I do want to draw attention to the fact that we've had so many murders in London. 15,000 knife offences the 12 months before lockdown. We have a crime epidemic in London. Somebody needs to concentrate on it because Sadiq Khan won't. I want to show leadership on this so we can make London a safe place to but be. But you've jumped to two assumptions. You've might jumped to another that the young woman has been murdered. I did not say that. You said that. Well, I said she was missing. You, you, you just said, said we've had too many murders in London. What, what prompted think, you to send this last night then? <laughs> Because she's missing and it is a loss. Like I told you before, Nick, when no, but, you no, but you've now moved me on to murder. What what what's brought you into murders? Do you know something? Again, do you know something we don't? What's brought me into murders, Nick, is the fact that you're telling me that an MP is upset with what I'm saying. I'm telling. I want to focus on the crime in London. <laughs> 